Have you ever stood at the fence of a horse pasture, watching these majestic animals graze peacefully, and wondered what it would be like to be their friend? Well, you're in luck. In this video, we'll reveal 10 scientifically proven ways to make a horse love you. 1. How to say hello to a horse. When you first meet a horse, you might want to run up and give it a big hug. But hold on, that's not how horses say hello. They like to take things slow. Here's what you should do instead. First, take a deep breath and relax your body. Horses are really good at knowing how we feel, just by looking at us. If you're calm, the horse will feel calm too. Now, don't walk straight at the horse. That can seem scary to them. Instead, walk up slowly and a bit sideways. This shows the horse you're friendly. When you get close to the horse, stop and stand still. Let the horse look at you. They might stretch out their neck to sniff you. That's horse for, nice to meet you. If the horse seems okay with you being there, you can slowly hold out your hand for them to sniff. Think of it like letting a dog sniff your hand, but be even more gentle and slow with a horse. Remember, some horses might need more time to say hello. That's okay. Just be patient and let the horse decide when it's ready to be friends. 2. The magic of quiet time. Believe it or not, one of the best ways to make friends with a horse is to do nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. We call it quiet time, and horses love it. Here's how it works. Find a safe place near the horse, like just outside their field. Sit down on the ground or on a chair if you have one. Now just relax. You can read a book, draw a picture, or just watch the clouds. The important thing is to be calm and quiet. At first, the horse might not seem interested in you. That's okay. They're watching you out of the corner of their eye, trying to figure out what you're doing. After a while, the horse might get curious and come closer to see what you're up to. If the horse comes over, don't jump up and try to pet it. Just keep being calm and quiet. Let the horse sniff you if it wants to. This shows the horse that you're safe to be around and that good things happen when you're there, like peace and quiet. Doing this for a little bit every day can help a horse learn to trust you. It's like telling the horse, hey, I'm a good friend to have around, without saying a word. Three, brushing, the way to a horse's heart. Just like how you might braid your best friend's hair, horses love to groom each other. It's how they show they care. We can use brushing to show horses we care about them too. Before you start brushing, make sure it's okay with the horse's owner and that an adult is there to help you. Get a soft brush. Horses like that best. Start by gently brushing the horse's neck. Use long, smooth strokes, like you're petting a big dog. Watch how the horse reacts. If they lower their head and look sleepy, that means they're enjoying it. As you brush, talk to the horse in a soft, kind voice. You can tell them about your day or just say nice things. You're such a good horse or your coat is so pretty are great things to say. Horses might not understand the words, but they understand the kindness in your voice. Be extra gentle when brushing the horse's legs or belly. These are sensitive spots, like how your tummy is ticklish. If the horse seems uncomfortable, go back to brushing their neck or shoulder. Brushing is not just about making the horse clean. It's about spending time together and showing the horse you care. It's like giving them a gentle massage and saying, I'm your friend, all at once. Four, treats, yummy ways to bond. Who doesn't love a tasty snack? Horses sure do. Giving treats can be a great way to make friends with a horse, but we have to do it the right way. Here's how. First, check with the horse's owner about what treats are okay to give. Horses often like carrots, apple slices, or special horse treats. Never give a horse food meant for people. It could make them sick. When you give a treat, use a flat hand with your palm up. This keeps your fingers safe from an accidental nip. Hold your hand out and let the horse take the treat from you. Don't try to put it in their mouth. That's not polite in horse manners. Here's a cool trick. Don't give treats all the time. If you do, the horse might only like you for the food. Instead, give treats when the horse does something good, like coming to you when you call or standing still while you brush them. This way, you're saying, good job, in a way the horse really understands. Remember, some horses get excited around treats and might forget their manners. 
always have a grown-up with you when you're giving treats, just to be safe. 5. Playing games horses understand. Horses love to play, but their games are a bit different from ours. One game horses really enjoy is called Follow the Leader. Here's how to play. First, make sure you're in a safe, enclosed area with the horse, like a round pen. Have a grown-up who knows about horses there to help you. Now, start walking around the area. Change directions every now and then. The fun part is seeing if the horse decides to follow you. If the horse follows you, that's great. It means they're interested in you and want to play. If they don't follow, that's okay too. You can try making the game more interesting by changing your speed or the way you walk. Another game horses like is copy me. Start by facing the horse and taking a step back. If the horse takes a step towards you, that's great. Take another step back and see if they follow. It's like a slow dance with the horse. Remember, the point of these games isn't to make the horse do what you want. It's about having fun together and building trust. Let the horse choose to play with you. That's how you know you're becoming real friends. 6. Learning Horse Body Language Horses talk a lot, but not with words. They use their bodies to tell us how they feel. Learning to understand horse body language is like learning a secret code that lets you know what your horse friend is thinking. Let's start with the ears. If a horse's ears are pointed forward, they're interested in something. If the ears are moving around, they're listening to different things. But if the ears are pinned back flat against their head, be careful. That means the horse is upset or angry. Now look at the horse's tail. A gently swishing tail usually means the horse is relaxed. But if the tail is swishing hard and fast, the horse might be annoyed about something, like flies buzzing around. The horse's eyes can tell you a lot too. Soft, blinky eyes mean the horse is happy and relaxed. Wide, round eyes might mean the horse is scared or surprised. Here's a fun one. Sometimes a horse will curl its upper lip and look like it's laughing. This is called the Fleeman response, and it usually means the horse has smelled something interesting. Learning horse body language takes time, but it's worth it. The better you understand what a horse is saying with its body, the better friends you can be. 7. Being a good leader. Horses are herd animals, which means they like to have a leader. In the wild, there's usually a boss horse that helps keep the herd safe. When we make friends with horses, we need to be a good, kind leader. Here's how. First, always be calm and confident around horses. Even if you feel scared or nervous inside, try to look calm on the outside. Take deep breaths and stand up straight. This shows the horse that you're a strong, safe friend to have. When you ask a horse to do something, like move over or walk with you, be clear about what you want. Use your body language and your voice. If you want the horse to move, point where you want them to go and say, over, in a firm but kind voice. But being a leader isn't just about telling the horse what to do, it's also about taking care of them. Make sure the horse has water to drink and good food to eat. Check to see if they're feeling okay. A good leader looks out for their friends. Remember, being a leader doesn't mean being bossy or mean. It means being someone the horse can trust to keep them safe and happy. When a horse sees you as a good leader, they'll want to be your friend and will enjoy spending time with you. Eight, respecting horse space. Just like how you might not like it if someone stood too close to you, horses need their own space too. Understanding and respecting a horse's space is super important for being good friends. Let's learn how to do that. Imagine there's a big bubble around the horse. This bubble is called their personal space or safety zone. When you're outside this bubble, the horse feels safe. But if you go into their bubble too fast, they might get scared or uncomfortable. To make friends, we need to respect this bubble. Here's how. When you approach a horse, watch how they react. If they turn to look at you with both eyes or take a step towards you, that's usually a good sign. It means they're okay with you coming closer. But if the horse turns away, pins their ears back, or starts to walk away, that means, not now, please. If this happens, take a step back and give them more space. You can try approaching again later when the horse seems more relaxed. As you and the horse become better friends, you'll notice that their bubble gets smaller. They'll let you get closer because they trust you more. 
but always remember to ask permission before entering a horse's space, even if you're good friends. You can do this by approaching slowly and watching how they react. Respecting a horse's space is like saying, I care about how you feel in horse language. It's one of the best ways to show a horse that you want to be friends. Nine, the power of a gentle voice. Horses have really good hearing and they pay a lot of attention to the sounds around them. This means that how we talk to horses is super important. Let's learn how to use our voices to make friends with horses. First, always speak softly around horses. Loud noises can scare them, so we want to use quiet, gentle voices. When you talk to a horse, use a low, soothing tone. It's kind of like how you might talk to a baby or a scared puppy. Try saying nice things to the horse, like, you're a good horse, or what a pretty mane you have. The horse might not understand the words, but they'll understand that your voice sounds kind and friendly. Here's a cool trick. Horses often like rhythmic sounds. Try humming a soft, slow song when you're around horses. Many horses find this relaxing and it might make them want to come closer to you. If a horse gets scared or nervous, keep talking in that soft, soothing voice. It can help calm them down. It's like telling them everything's okay in a way they understand. Remember, sudden loud noises can startle a horse. So try not to shout, laugh too loudly, or make other loud noises when you're near them. If you need to raise your voice to talk to someone else, it's polite to step away from the horse first. Using a gentle voice is like offering a friendly handshake in horse language. It tells the horse, I'm nice and you can trust me. And that's a great start to a wonderful friendship. 10. Patience. The key to horse friendship. Making friends with a horse is a bit like growing a plant. It takes time, care, and lots of patience. Some horses might want to be your friend right away, while others might take weeks or even months to trust you. And that's okay. Here's why patience is so important when making horse friends. Every horse is different, just like every person is different. Some horses have had bad experiences with people before, so they might be scared or nervous around humans. Other horses might just be shy. By being patient, we show the horse that we respect their feelings. Remember, horses don't think like humans do. They live in the present moment and don't understand things like, we should be friends because I've been nice to you for a week. They learn to trust us through lots of small, positive experiences over time. Here's how to practice patience with horses. Don't expect too much too soon. Be happy with small signs of progress, like a horse looking at you with interest or taking a step towards you. Never force a horse to interact with you. Always let them choose to come to you. If a horse doesn't want to be friends one day, don't be upset. Try again another day with a smile. Keep your visits with the horse short and pleasant. It's better to have many short, good visits than one long visit where the horse gets bored or tired. Celebrate small victories. Did the horse let you brush them for the first time? That's huge. Be proud of that progress. Remember, the goal isn't just to make the horse do what you want. The goal is to build a real friendship based on trust and understanding. And real friendships take time to grow. By being patient, you're telling the horse, I'll be here when you're ready to be friends. And when a horse does choose to be your friend, after you've been patient and kind, it's one of the best feelings in the world. So there you have it, 10 ways to make friends with horses. Remember, every horse is different. So what works with one horse might not work with another. The most important things are to be gentle, respectful, and patient. Always listen to the horse's owner and never try anything new without a grown-up who knows about horses there to help you.